DaVinci Resolve 20.2 is here. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about some exciting things and also manage expectations a little bit because there's there's a lot there's a lot going on, but there's a lot to talk about. We did just have the full release of DaVinci Resolve 20.1 and that was a massive update. Now we do have IBC, the other big conference um, of the year coming up where we might have seen something from Resolve. But earlier today, we also had the Apple event um, where we saw both this uh, Blackmagic Camera Pro dock, very exciting, and from Apple, we heard that the Blackmagic Camera app would be recording ProRes RAW. That was big news for everyone involved with all of that, but look, plenty of people were saying, hey, uh, we're going to be able to record ProRes RAW, but we still can't edit it in Resolve. Well, 20.2, uh, you can edit ProRes RAW in DaVinci Resolve. And that certainly feels big enough for the right amount of people that even though this is otherwise close to like a minor update, there is some cool stuff in there um, that it, it's worth that next point to update and to push it out now along with this Apple release. Other side note, they are also uh, adding support for recording ProRes RAW to the Pocket Cinema 4K. That camera's like seven years old wild that it's also just getting this new feature. And they made this pro doc, that's pretty cool. As always, I highly recommend going over to the support page of DaVinci Resolve, um, where you have these latest downloads, this point two and studio point two, um, but also some really more valuable resources. Um, they have a link to this new video walking through directly from Blackmagic, these new features. They also put this on their YouTube channel already. Um, and then just a straight 20.2 new features guide. You can download that. And just, if, if you want to read something, if you want to read something instead of listening to me or anyone else talking about videos, you can do that. But I downloaded Resolve, so I will finish installing that and then find some fun stuff to show off. And we are installed. We've got a new splash screen. What's new in DaVinci Resolve 20.2? Um, this source and track patching, super interesting. I might show it off a little bit. Uh, cinematic haze, a new color effect. Ripple delete silence. So excited to show that off. ProRes RAW, uh, a Samsung uh, new uh, app codec thing, looks like that's probably mobile, a large trim editor, custom metadata fields, and Ripple uh, edits always in sync. Uh, yeah, Ripple deletes. Sneak up on a lot of people. Let's hop in and check it out. I'll make a new project, open it up, right to my timeline, where I will make a new timeline. There are some exciting things I want to show off first, but, but right off the bat, you know we got to check uh, generators, string supply code, proto.3 on the timeline. Are we still working? Check it out. We got amazing distorted and glowing text with 25 presets, not just for text. Change it over to other shapes or a custom path. Um, pull in any images or even look at your media pool where you can drag and drop clips in and have fantastic uh, outline glow effects in seconds. Uh, that's Proto V3 available now, link in the description. And hey, it looks like it works great in Resolve 20.2. Let's look at what else is new in Resolve 20.2. I think the thing I am most interested in, I'll go ahead and drag in this clip of a recent video of mine looking at an update for Proto. And if I select this clip, make sure I select both the audio too, and come up to Clip Audio Operations Ripple Delete Silence, we get this new pop-up, and if I zoom in, it's looking and selecting gaps in this video clip. You can change this threshold, you can change um, all these sorts of controls, or even a minimum, if you want to set a minimum before it counts. But once you click remove, it gets rid of all those gaps and automatically ripple deletes. We had a, uh, a thing in a previous version to recognize the gaps just on the audio layer. Now it can do it automatically with video too super slick. While we're here in 20.1, we also got this uh, operation where you could hold C and sort of trim in your timeline. Uh, but it looks like if we hold C, you can also now trim in your viewer as well. Small quality of life, but pretty nice. I'm going to grab the Resolve logo and come down here to show off some fun new keyframing updates. If I slide it over here, keyframe, and slide it over here, or here, open up this little edit page keyframe view. And now if I go over to this curves, we have a much more complete toolbar here. If you right click to add some easing and do that or just uh, adjust these easing uh, by, by these points, really slick. But I wanna show off um, uh, some, of the, some of the cool things that can happen um, with this new layout. Previously, we had like one column of button here that sort of synced up um, this like sync lock and 
uh, you could tell Resolve like which track you wanted to talk to if you were using like keyboard shortcuts or dropping an effect on a clip. That was useful, but especially if you have multiple clips, um, this is much easier to just drag and drop. If I just add a track here with some different video clips and scale these down, you can just drag and drop this selector now in between different, different tracks to quickly select a different track. That's pretty slick. And also this sync lock um, exists on its own as a setting. So if I disable this and then try to ripple delete this first track, it won't affect anything on the second track. And I believe if we even do some fun stuff here, like if I bring in this other effect, so it's only audio. And let's say we just have like a few things here. Let's see if this works the way I think it does. If I pull on my trim mode and start trimming, yeah, and start trimming this video clip, it's going to try to preserve sync that I've already established later on. So say this video clip um, or like these images I have synced up to like, let's just assume this is a music track. And like that sync is precise. If I want to shrink this, this uh, you know, single video track here, if I trim that in, it is now cutting that audio track. So it is maintaining sync on everything else. Now, if you don't want it to do that, just uncheck this disable sync lock and then it will uh, just pull over uh, everything and ignore that completely. There are a handful of new behaviors here, so I would absolutely point you over um, to this like new features guide for 20.2. It runs uh, runs through a lot of the like minute differences here. You saw these new guides in 20.1. I believe like maybe these colors are new and like some of these extra settings to like lock them. So if you need those, um, you can uh, have easier access to these in Fusion. Um, some fun like Fusion Immersive and especially like the Vision Pro, I believe you can like send your Fusion output, output to like monitor right to the Vision Pro. So if you're doing more like VR or 180 work, that could be super slick. And some things I'm really excited to see some like other more color focused channels talk about. We have this new like fog effect that uses like the built in depth and map in Resolve that looks great, um, as well as uh, effects we might have seen in 20.1, but we're getting more info on those now. Some like split tone effects and different like color like preset type effects. Um, that in the quick demo that uh, that Blackmagic has already shown off on their channel and their YouTube, they look great. And on top of that, you got some like new custom metadata fields, some other stuff for a small update, not many as new like exciting features as we got in 20.1. Um, but I'm sure for a whole swath of people, ProRes RAW will be enough. Maybe I'll try to find a clip to work around with soon. But for me personally, even this delete gaps feature, that's awesome. New feature in Resolve 20.2. Cool. I'll keep poking around, see if I find anything I especially want to show off. Um, I will drop links in the description or the comments if other friends of the channel make videos showing cool stuff that I didn't go into as much depth on. Um, but let me know what you were excited for. If you especially use ProRes RAW, let me know. If you just like this ripple delete, or if you just want more info on Proto, which I showed off, a uh, link to that will absolutely be in the description as well. I've also made videos about that for like the past week, if you missed some of that. That's all I wanted to show off, because update day is always very exciting. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.